Hi everyone, it's Tina with TSR Creations. I'm doing a voiceover. Um, this is going to be an alcohol ink tutorial. Um, I'm using um, a 12 by 12 Nara paper, synthetic paper. And um, I'm also going to be using this new little squeeze blower thingy. I don't even know what it's called, but it's by Tim Holtz Ranger. I have a couple new inks. This one is Patina. And then there's Cloudy Blue, which I've had, but I'm going to use all these blues and greens. This one is Pool. I've had that. And then this is Dream. And then I'll always use a little bit of the brass, and that's the Pinata Brass, as, long, uh, as well as the Pinata White. I'm going to use that in there as well. So I'm going to get started here in a few minutes. I have my alcohol and a little needle nose tip bottle. It's 99% isopropyl alcohol. I did find it on Amazon. It's hard to get right now. So I just put a little down of the one color and I'm just, this is the first time I'm using this tool. So um, actually I did turn out that I did like it. Um, but I just wanted to give it a try, see what different effects you can get with it. So I just keep kind of moving it around. You just kind of play with it. Um, and I do have my hair dryer too, if I decide. I don't know if I use it in this video or not. I think I do to dry it. Yep, just drying the edges. And that's the Revlon stick brush hair dryer. And I have a link for that in my description box. And I'll put the link for this little squeeze blower. They remind me of the little bulb syringes that you got um, when the babies, when you had the baby in the hospital and they sent you home with the squeeze to squeeze out their boogers. <laughs> All right, so I just put a little more alcohol down and I'm just moving this alcohol around the paper. So this is, I'm just gonna go ahead and add more alcohol and color to my paper. I'm probably going to play a little music, let you see the, the rest of this. I'm not sure how long I use that squeeze blower for because um, it, one thing I did find, it hurts your hand keep squeezing it so I think I end up using the hairdryer for a while all right so I'm just gonna let it play out and I'll catch you on the end of the video all right thanks enjoy
All right, so I'm back and I'm pretty much done. Just cleaning up the edges with some alcohol and a paper towel. I'm pretty happy with this piece. Um, I did end up using the hairdryer for most of it. Um, I found that little tool to be a little awkward. Um, but um, I'll give it another shot. I will, definitely. I think you could probably get some cool effects with it. Maybe on a smaller piece. Um, I really did like the stream color. Gave, that color has a lot of def, depth, and I think it looks great in this piece. Um, so anyway, hope you like this video, and um, I inspired you to go create something beautiful. And um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, check out my other social media sites. I have an Instagram, a TikTok, Pinterest. I'm on all, this, all the different social media. So go check that out and follow me there for see what else I'm doing. Because um, I do acrylic pouring, resin art, um, mixed media. I do all, all, all different things. So just check that out. And I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.